Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable the new start menu all apps section inside the latest build for the better channel, which is the build 22635.4010 or version 23H2. Of course, this new feature or this new start menu design was a thing for a few builds now, but in this build, Microsoft is finally starting to reach the end point of development for this start menu all apps section. And in this video, I'm going to remind you how to enable it and how it looks right now. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, you're going to have to set a Vive tool on your computer. Just go and get Vive tool from the article below and get the latest version.zip. Once you have Vive tool, make sure to extract it using the File Explorer extracting tool. Click on Extract All, click on Browse, and make sure to extract it into a dedicated folder. For example, I have a folder in local disk C called Hidden Features. I'm just going to extract it there and then copy the location because we're going to need it whenever we are running the commands. Click on extract. I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination in my case and we are good to go. This is how easily you set a Vive tool on your computer. Now we're going to have to open the search box, type in here CMD and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, of course, click on yes. In the CMD, type in CD and then the location where we extracted Vive tool and then we're going to have to run one command. This is the command that you have to run Vive tool slash enable slash ID and three different IDs. This command and IDs were discovered by Phantom Machine 3 on Twitter so make sure to follow him if you want to learn more more about hidden features in Windows 11 and you're going to receive the message successfully set feature configuration. After that, you can exit out from the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. One last thing that you need to note is that Microsoft hasn't even officially announced this feature, so it is a completely hidden feature that could have bugs until Microsoft officially announces it and officially releases it. So now for the restart, if you open up the start menu and then go to the all app section, you're going to have these new options here where you can select certain categorizing methods, for example, alphabetical, which will categorize your apps alphabetically, grid, which is this grid that is also categorized alphabetically, and category, which is a new thing, which will basically categorize your apps into different sections. And I think this is pretty interesting. Right now, of course, it is still not finished. As you can see, if you click on anything, it doesn't work. But if you click on an app, it will work and open it. But in my opinion, this is looking pretty good. Please let me know below in the comments what you think about this new addition in the Windows 11 start menu all app section. I think this is looking pretty good right now. But of course, it's still has room for improvement. And as you can see, inside certain categories where you have a lot of apps, you have three main apps and a folder-like section, which includes other apps as well. So I think that is pretty interesting. So if you are enrolled in the beta channel and you install the latest build for this, of course, you can check out and test out for yourself this new start menu all app section if you want. So of course, let me know below in the comments what you think about this. Yet again, please don't forget to check out the article below for Vive tool and also the command that I've used in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.